A group of men is caught stealing car parts from a Rockford Auto Center overnight. Officers were called to Greater Rockford Auto Auction on Sandy Hollow Road after an alarm went off at the shop. Investigators found a hole in the fence around the building and located three people walking inside the fenced-in area. Police asked the suspects to stop. All three men ran away. Officers caught up with and arrested Rael Gonzalez, Roberto Reyna, and Elijah Reyna. Bolt cutters, a sawzall, and saw blades were all found at the scene. Court records show Gonzalez says he put the other men up to the crime. Investigators believe the men were trying to steal catalytic converters. It's a problem auto shops are seeing across the state line. Nicole Delgado spoke with a local body shop owner. Nicole, is there anything we can do to prevent these thefts? Eric, Mimi, this is happening all over, and thieves are looking for a quick buck to cash out on your car parts. But local service center says there are things that you can do to prevent this. We're even seeing, you know, a little bit of a spike in popular vehicles of the Toyota Prius. Um, those can bring anywhere from. Um, on the, on, in, on the market uh, at salvage yards, uh, recyclers, uh, I'm hearing upwards of 1000 to 1200 bucks. It's an important part of your car, a part thieves want to get their hands on. They're after the converters. Uh, like I said, there's precious metals in them. Uh, rhodium and platinum are the main ones that are in it. Nathan Kurt owns Kurt's Service Center in Rockford. He says he's been seeing a lot more cars coming in, missing the catalytic converter. It's the piece of exhaust mounted onto your car that converts toxic gases into less harmful substances. Removing the piece takes less than a minute. Thieves just slide under the car, chop off the converter. It's happening so much, U-Haul trucks have their own protection. U-Haul is sending us cages, and we're actually mounting cages up underneath. We replace the converter, and we put a cage up, and then we weld that cage in, or sometimes we can bolt it in, and it's a rebar cage. So it makes it a lot harder, even if they were to cut it, it falls down in the cage. In the meantime, Kurt hopes something will be done to detour this kind of crime. Um, I think, you know, we could see some stricter laws coming down the road to where if you are a person that is bringing in catalytic converters into salvage yard or recycling facilities, they're going to want to ID, they're going to want some information from to protect yourself and your car, police says it's best to park indoors if that's an option. Otherwise, try to park underneath a light. You can try an alarm, cameras, or even spray paint or etch your information onto the part, making it easier to identify converter if it is stolen. Eric?